What's going on guys today? Pro Gamer here, Keel Dykin. Getting back here in the E3 and um, I had an extra badge today. And so I happened to find some homeless bum walking down the street, looking wet behind the ears and stuff. <laughs> and that should have made for a very exciting video so <laughs> Sunday I told you guys I was sneaking to E3 and it wasn't me it was actually him so much appreciate right so uh, he's gonna have fun I'm gonna go get my Funko Pop make that money make that money so hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video Hey, what's going on, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. This is Keel Dykin. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So quite recently, actually a few nights ago, I was just up doing some research and I uh, came across this on the United States Patent and Trademark Office. I was just doing some research. And um, apparently, it appears that RK one up is in, who which is owned by Tastemakers, is in the process of creating their own reality-based series or TV show. So you can find this here on the USPTO.gov website. All you have to do is type in RK One Up, and you can see a number of things filed here, including RK One Up Junior, which was already announced. So for those of you who like to do inquiries or do your own internet sleuthing, um, a lot of companies will already register their uh, agreements here in order to bring things to commerce. So we'll just quickly read here as well as show you guys some additional information. This is all of the publishings and the filing that has been done. And the first time this was actually filed was back in February 25, February 25th of 2020. And so if you guys know, uh, we've been shut down by COVID. Uh, this is now September of 2021. And apparently the last uh, action that was filed on this was an extension. So obviously there's new COVID protocols and things of that nature, which is probably why uh, nothing has really been uh, really put into action since February 25 and 2020. And maybe this answers as to why some of the RK one up individuals uh, in the community have taken a step back from some of the social media as far as uh, doing certain things, uh, maybe being on YouTube is maybe they just decided to go ahead and create their own reality based TV show, which is what this filing is about. So let's go ahead, take a look at it. Uh, the making of arcade one up the making of arcade one up entertainment services in the nature of an ongoing reality based web series entertainment in the nature of an ongoing reality based television program entertainment services in the nature of an ongoing documentary web series entertainment services in the nature of an ongoing documentary television program entertainment services namely production and distribution of reality-based documentary and live action motion pictures and films. Entertainment services, namely providing online computer games, game services provided online forum, a computer network, entertainment services, namely providing information about arcade games via an online network, entertainment services providing information about an ongoing reality-based uh, documentary and live action program via a global computer network, online journals, namely blogs featuring information concerning arcade games and an ongoing reality based documentary and live action program. So again, this was originally filed February 25th, 2020. Obviously this probably would have been put on hold uh, for a number of reasons due to COVID. And then of course this was uh, published originally June 30th, 2020 on the USPTO website for opposition. Obviously, this isn't going to have any opposition here. And then, of course, they filed an extension uh, just a few weeks ago, August 27, 2021. So what does this mean? Kind of reading between the lines, this actually means a number of things. Um, probably RK one up is creating their own app. Uh, maybe they're going to use the online fighting system. Um, that you guys have been playing with the Capcom and also NBA Jam, uh, maybe creating their own web-based uh, 
internet services, kind of like IGN or what you guys see on social media like Snap where uh, they're doing video commentaries explaining this uh, their own thing. Maybe they're just going to create another YouTube channel. But primarily, a lot of this uh, detailed here is uh, they're going to do something over the computer network that has something to do with social media. Now, obviously, everyone can have their own Instagram account and Facebook, but this is a little bit more than just that. Obviously, this is uh, detailing a documentary television program. So this is a TV series or a reality-based television show. Maybe they're going to call up some YouTubers, have some people come on their TV show. Maybe they have something going on uh, with their own company reps. But yeah, this is live. This is something that they plan to put in place. So I'm just offering some general ideas as to what this could mean additionally. This could also be a movie. I mean, heck, who knows? Maybe there'll be some... Uh, acting involved in some other movie stars coming in in regards to this but yeah i mean this also could be uh how xbox live is where they're putting um, additional videos or have their own network as far as events on their own proprietary uh systems so again so these are just a wide range of ideas or things that they could do with this and what this means um it's not concrete but yeah, it could be an app, it could be a TV show, it could be a movie, it could be videos that are uploaded on the daily on their own network. Maybe they're going to release arcade cabinets in the future that have uh, you know, their own network, kind of like Xbox Live and how PlayStation have with their own video reveals. You know, things of that nature, you guys kind of get the idea. But uh, yeah, so this is live and uh, obviously we'll look to see what will happen in the near future with this, but it definitely sounds entertaining no pun intended so yeah entertainment services namely providing information about arcade games via an online network now i haven't taken the liberty to look at some of the other apps to see their wording on it um obviously facebook snapchat and several others will probably have additional wording it'll be a little bit longer though but um, i can only imagine that they are going to do something with their own internet system or have some type of uh, tv show for programming uh, just to keep the community informed and hyped about what is going on uh, let me see if there was anything else here i wanted to show you guys uh, so again this is their notice to action uh, that they did file an extension probably because of everything going on in the world it says the same thing here entertainment services in the nature of an ongoing reality based web series so maybe this also extends to tutorials and a whole bunch of other things so uh, there's a lot of things that they could do with that. So I just wanted to go ahead and put this video out there for all of you to see. Uh, because, again, this is the USPTO. This is where everybody goes to file their legitimate trademarks and other notice, uh, noticeable businesses. Uh, you have to file it here so that way people doesn't, you know, steal your mark. Uh, yeah, so other than that, that's really about it. Online journals, namely blogs featuring information concerning arcade games and an ongoing reality-based documentary and live action program. So stick a tune if there are any further updates, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm sure many of you out there will be running rampant with this story, uh, trying to figure out exactly what else is going to go on with it. But uh, this is really good news. I'm glad to see a company is growing. So uh, this is Keo Daikin. If you're into fireworks, check out Keo Boom Daikin. Also check out my online merchant stores all over the place. And I do have some upcoming videos regarding RetroPie and other uh, PC-based mods that I will be doing. So stick around. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. You guys have a good day.